What's going on everyone? I'm Matt Marsden, joined by artist Mutari, and today we're going to be going over his corona vacation, I guess, and how he's been spending quarantine. So, Mutari, what's up? Let's hear a little bit about yourself. Who is Mutari? What does it mean? And what is Foreign Sound? So, Mutari, uh, basically, like, um, I came up, I was like, I, I've been making music for a long time, man, since like 13, 14, and when I was like in high school, I was in pop rock band and when i kind of like decided to go my own like solo route i you know i kind of like had to find a name and i had a latin dictionary that my mom gave me and i never like touched it like i never needed it and i had like an idea like why not go in the dictionary and, like find my name in there you know cool so i was scrolling and then i get to mutari i'm like that sounds cool and it means actually to be different and a change in Latin. And that's kind of the process I was going through at the time. Like I was going through a change of being in a band to like my own personal artist. And it was kind of like a change and you know, it just made sense. And like the name like had a ring to it. So I love in, that. In Latin, yeah. And as well, sticking with the, the difference theme, mm -hmm. your band identifies as foreign sound. Yep. And that's because you guys don't really fit into any specific genre of music so yeah. how did you come up with foreign sound and and that name so foreign sound was like uh an idea i started um uh, in back in high school like yeah in my high school days like uh late high school years like 11 to 17 18 years old and when i started it the idea was like you know, like, why be boxed in in a genre, and, you know, like, you, why not, why can't you, like, you know, mix, like, different elements and stuff, and, like, that's kind of, like, how Foreign Sound came, and also, like, you know, once, like, the band started being put together, it's, like, Foreign Sound in the sense that, like, you know, we're all, like, we all come from different, like, whether it be ethnic backgrounds or musical backgrounds, you know, we all come from different backgrounds, and it's, like, you know, there's different meanings to foreign sound, but like the the main core is like the sound, like to the music, what you hear, it's like for the most part, like when you hear it, you're like, you know, it's, I never heard that. It's, it's like foreign, you know? It's foreign Absolutely. Sound. Yeah, yeah. It gets people moving, yeah, yeah. it gets people dancing. Um, before, uh, before coronavirus struck and basically locked down all of the great venues uh, to play, I'm sure you had some plans. You had some plans for the summer laid out with the band. Uh, yeah. You had you had played a festival at the A3C Fest yeah, yeah, yeah. in Atlanta yeah. with Lil Wayne as well as the Wu Tang Clan as yeah, headliners yeah, yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, talk about some of uh, the plans that you had uh, on tap for coronation that uh, kind of shut everything down yeah man so like in May we were supposed to play uh, Canada Music Fest which is which happens during CMW which is Canadian Music Week for those of you who don't know it's like you know like a notable one of like North America's biggest festivals like people from all over come to like play or just network there's conferences the whole week it's like really good for the for the music industry and we we got booked to play this year in May, and then you know, obviously Corona happened, and that didn't happen. But uh, it got postponed till 2021. But who knows? That might not even happen. You know, you never know. But they might have a hard got, time yeah, booking yeah, you. You yeah. might be booking bigger shows. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Even even like from the time that they booked us until like we we already kind of like improved like musically as well as like the fan base grew a little bit just in like that time period so like we're only like getting better and like with this new music coming out like it's i'm excited to see like what ha what happens with it so i am yeah. as well you mentioned uh y you mentioned the fans uh and the growth that you've had throughout the quarantine i guess and how you've been reaching mass uh, numbers of people across the world your music transcends continents and the videos that are submitted through fan submission of them dancing and performing to your yeah. songs are, are quite uh, quite a sight to see on your social medias yeah. uh, that's Matari music on Instagram yeah. for the people yeah, listening yeah. and watching yeah. um, 
How have you been? How have you been engaging with your fans throughout the coronavirus? The, the like the little like wave momentum kind of started when we released Mama back in the end of May, and great track. Yeah, infectious yeah, sure. song. Yeah, thank. Shout out, shout out to the fans. You know we broke 100k on Spotify. Um, yeah, but first time doing that. <laughs> It kind of started when we dropped that, and uh, when we kind of seen like the 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 love and like you know the interaction, like people were like rap people like that don't even speak English were like following me and like messaging me and like their language or like using translator or, like telling us how they love the song. Like when we started seeing that, it's kind of like oh shoot, like there's people there, so like. We started being more active with like you know we we would play stuff on live or like post stories of us like jamming like cause that's kind of like what got them hooked and like mama you know there was the saxophone Colin was on the bass and then we kind of did the same thing for champions you know so like that's kind of like we think our like our fan base like we can see, that's kind of like what they like right like that's the common denominator in all those songs so you know we do our best to give them that like on the lives the stories and all that so yeah. and that's a that's an interesting point as well that you bring yeah. up the uh, the saxophone that yeah. is a welcomed addition in the yeah. band um, we were my girlfriend and I had the amazing opportunity to yeah. see Matari and Foreign Sound perform live mm-hmm. in rehearsal a week ago and we noticed Eric on the sax, and do you mind talking about the addition yeah. of Eric to the band? Oh man, on it's the sax, been, it's been great. It's been like seamless. It's been he fits like right in, man. And what really I feel like what a big part of why like it's been so easy is because Eric and Colin actually like live together, and they both go. They're both in the music program for their, you know, their instrument at Humber. You know, so not only do they go to school together, but they also like live together so like the chemistry was like just like right away you know like they already know how they play with each other you know so it's it's just been it's been amazing and again a great addition to the team yeah that's uh calling the yeah. mind melting drummer yeah. uh in the band there's also mm-hmm. jason j yeah. alexander on uh yeah. on on the hype man and on yeah. the uh on the on the producing yeah he uh, he he brings an incredible verse to the new unreleased song um, that hopefully we're going to be able to get uh, a bit of a snippet in at the end of this yeah. uh, conversation so that the fans can see what's to come yeah. next. How do you fund your music career during the coronavirus? Um, it's man, honestly, because we're independent, man. We're fully independent artists, so it's just like. Our, our money, you know, we're putting it, we're investing in, in ourselves, you know, we're betting on ourselves. And yeah, that's that's how we fund ourselves. It's just all, we all like pitch in, you know, and we get it done. So if the pandemic continues to restrict live shows, how do you plan on capturing the audience's attention through Instagram, your social medias, or will you actually go up, venture out to venues and start performing? Um. I feel like if if the time is right and like it is possible to perform, then like we definitely will will perform where we can. But in terms of how will we like stay like engaged with the fans and like all that, if like we can't, um, I think we'll just keep doing what we're doing because it's it's been working since Mama. You know, like we're just keep keep releasing music and keep the fans entertained and you know uh show them our process you know show them like how we make the music you know entertain them a little bit that's why they like i said i feel like that's if you look at all the songs it would make sense that you know to assume that the reason why they enjoy it so much is because of like all the instruments so just keep feeding that to them you know Oh, maybe I just dream that I'm all the way, this is the way 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 I'm all the way, this is the way
Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How important are live shows uh, yeah. for you and the band to kind of capture that audience and the fan base? Uh, live shows are they they are important, uh, but like it's uh, obviously like you know like you you find your way around obstacles, but they are important because uh, it's it's just another way to really connect with your fans on on a deeper level that you couldn't do just on the track, you know. But uh, yeah, like I said, like obstacles, you can get over them, you know. But they they were they are important. But yeah. you were you were mentioning the Canadian Music Week and the Can- Canadian Music Festival that you were yeah. really excited and stoked to play at. When return to play happens for Matari and Foreign Sound, where is a venue in the city that you would love to open up at? Man, Mod Club, man, because we played there we numerous amount of times, and it's every single time it's been great. You know, the crew there is amazing. They always our sound. You know, they always make us sound amazing. Like they're on point, very professional. So that's definitely like out of all the venues we played so far. Like uh, I think I speak for like the rest of the guys too, and I say Mod Club's like at the top of our list. So, well. Yeah. I know I'm speaking on behalf of uh, mm. all of the Matari fans out there mm. that I can't wait to see you back in action. I can't wait mm. to watch you live in performance again. Mm. And I'm loving the music. Mm. The Thank audience you. clearly is as well. We're all tuning in and we're all we're all enjoying the vids, man. We're enjoying mm. the energy. We're enjoying the positivity. So mm. uh, from myself, just keep working hard, man. I'm excited Thank to you, see man. your uh, your progression and you know where where your journey ends, Thank where, you. where it takes you, bro. Much love. And man, to the fans, uh, we just thank you for streaming all the songs. The love is crazy. Like, it's, it's you know, that's what drives us to even go harder. Now we got to go even harder, you know, because now, like, you know, we can't give you anything less, man. We just got to keep going harder. But thank you for breaking 100K on Mama, for streaming champions. Where and, can we find your socials? Uh, Matari Music is the, is the Instagram. Um I'm sure you can just edit that. I'm gonna do my best to edit in somewhere here. Somewhere there, you know. And uh, on Spotify, you just search my name, Mutari. You, you know, you're gonna see the pine, the famous pineapple here. You can't miss it. You know, uh, Apple Music. Just search my name anywhere. I'll come up. I'm I'm everywhere. And uh, yeah, YouTube too. If you want to watch the videos of like the live performances, like it's on YouTube. We're gonna start posting vlogs. And yeah, a lot of content, you know, just to keep you guys entertained, especially during these times. So yeah. Big up Matari. Big up yourselves. Big up yourselves. Thank you. Big up Matthew. (laughs) Thanks for listening and uh, tune in next time. Thank you.